Welcome to this tutorial on probability and distributions in GeoGebra. In this tutorial, we will learn how to use probability calculator in GeoGebra, look at different distributions and parameters. Here I am using Ubuntu Linux operating system version 16.04, GeoGebra, 5.0.481.0-D. To follow this tutorial, you should be familiar with GeoGebra interface, statistics, fish feed. Let us look at an example. A fishery is testing four types of feed formulation on its fish, A, B, C and D. Data to be collected after feeding the fish for 6 months are Length in millimeters Weight in pounds Girth in millimeters Let us look at some of these data. Fish feed data We will use these data for our analysis. Please download the code file Fishery Data provided along with this tutorial. Probability Probability of an event P of A lies between 0 and 1. Statistics are calculated for each sample. The probability distribution of these statistics is called a sampling distribution. Examples are normal, T, etc. Please refer to additional material provided along with this tutorial. I have opened the GeoGebra interface. Click on View Tool and select Spreadsheet. Click on X at top right corner of Graphics and Algebra Views. In the code file, use the mouse to highlight length data in column B. Hold Ctrl key down and press C to copy the data. Click in the top of the spreadsheet in GeoGebra. Hold Ctrl key down and press V. Drag and adjust the column width. As shown earlier in the series, change the name to length millimeter hyphen A. Adjust the column width. Repeat this with data in columns E, H and K. Select all data in the four columns by dragging. Under the menu bar, under one variable analysis, click on multiple variable analysis. A data source pop-up window appears. Click on analyze button. A data analysis window appears. Drag the boundary to see it properly. Box plots appear for data for all four columns. Click anywhere in the GeoGebra window and then click on Show Statistics tool. Statistics are displayed below the box plots. Above the statistics, Click on Menu button next to the word Statistics. Select ANOVA. Drag the boundaries and resize the window to increase size of statistics tables. Place the cursor on the boundary below the plots and drag to increase the size of the tables. F value is the ratio of between groups MS to within groups MS. Hence, F value is quite large, 36.5892. P value is 0. This means it is probably less than 0 0.001. The feed does make a statistically significant difference to the length of the fish. Hence, the null hypothesis can be rejected in this case. The null hypothesis here 
is that none of the feeds make any difference to the length of the fish. Next to the ANOVA display, click on the menu button. Two options appear for t-test, difference of means and paired differences. The same two options appear for t-estimate. Difference of means is for unpaired t-test. Paired differences is for paired t-test. The t-test compares two groups at a time. Select t-test difference of means. Column A data are denoted by default as sample 1. Column B data are denoted by default as sample 2. Click on the menu buttons next to the displays to reverse the order. As mean of column B is greater than mean of column A, T values and limits will now be positive. T tests give T and P values. Comparing A and B gives P less than 0 0.001 and T value greater than 4. Thus, feeds A and B have a significant effect on lengths of fish. Click on the menu button and choose T estimates difference of means. T estimates give lower and upper limits for the mean difference. The confidence level is 95%. We can be 95% sure that the mean difference is between the lower and upper limits. Close the data analysis window. Now let us look at the probability calculator. We are in the spreadsheet view. Use the mouse to drag and highlight length data for feed A. Click on one variable analysis tool. In the data source pop-up window that appears, click on Analyze button. At the top of the data analysis window, click on the second Show Statistics button. Note down mean, mu and standard deviation, sigma. Close the data analysis window and follow the same steps for feed B. Again, drag and highlight feed A length data. Click on View and then click on Probability Calculator. The Probability Calculator window pops up. Drag the boundary to see it properly. We are looking at a normal distribution in the distribution window. Place your cursor on the horizontal boundary below the distribution curve. Drag the arrow upwards to see the data entry window below the curve properly. Let us look at a normal distribution for fish given feed A. In the box next to new, type 745.5 and press enter. In the box next to sigma, type 29.0215 and press enter. A normal distribution plot appears with mean 745.5 and sigma 29.0215. Click on the first of three buttons below the mean and sigma boxes. The right side bracket indicates this is the upper limit. In the box next to P of X less than or equal to type 770 and press enter. Note that the probability P appears in the box to the right 0 0.8007. Thus 80.07% fish fed feed A are 770 millimeters long or shorter. Let us do the reverse. 
in the P box to the right of the equal to sign, type 0.09. Press enter. When you press enter, x less than or equal to 706.5893 appears in the box. Thus, 9% of the fish are shorter than this length. Next to the normal display box, click on the curve symbol. The cumulative distribution function curve appears. Probability is plotted on the y-axis. Length of feed A group is plotted on x-axis. Click on curve symbol to return to the normal distribution bell curve. Below mu and sigma displays, click on second of the three buttons. The two brackets indicate that lower and upper limits can be specified. In the first box, type 705 and in the second box, 758. Press enter. P equal to 0 0.5852 appears. This means 58.52% of fish fed feed A are 705 to 758 millimeters long. Finally, click on the third button showing a left bracket. In the box, type 760 and press enter. 30.87% of fish fed feed A are longer than 760 millimeters. Next to distribution tab, click on statistics tab. Close the probability calculator window. Let us look at the spreadsheet in GeoGebra. Use mouse to drag and highlight length data in columns A and B. Under one variable analysis, select probability calculator. We are looking as before at the statistics window. From the drop down menu at the top, select T test difference of means. You can type mean, standard deviation and total number of samples N in the boxes. We will type 10 for N as each feed group has 10 fish. Press enter after entering all values. Feed A mean is lower than feed B mean. So we will choose feed B group as sample 1 and feed A as sample 2. Note T, standard error, degrees of freedom and P values. Compare them to results from multiple variable analysis. Select different tests for different pairs of columns in the spreadsheet. Interpret the results and compare with your calculations. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we have learnt how to use probability calculator in GeoGebra, looked at different distributions and parameters. Assignment Perform statistical analysis for weight and girth data given in this tutorial. Four oils were used to deep fry chips. Amount of absorbed fat was measured for six chips fried in the four oils. Is any of the oils absorbed more than the others? The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates. For more details, please write to us. Please post your timed queries on this forum. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NMEICT MHRD Government of India. More information on this mission is available at this link. This is Vidya Ayer from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for joining.